All right. Now this is the first of hopefully a long series of tutorials on action script for games. We're going to be focusing solely on moving towards making games and maybe some interactive educational type stuff as well. But so first a little background on me. My name is Matt Maizano. I am co-founder of Big Toe Interactive with my wife Deborah Says. And um, I got started, I have no computer science background, uh, I have no programming background, so why should you listen to me? Well, you shouldn't. Turn this off right now. If you didn't turn it off, I've made two games, the first of which is Munch Crunch. I'm not going to click it full screen here because the sound will come on, but uh, Munch Crunch, made in Flash, Action Script 3. And our second game, Urban Santa, which is also, they're both on Newgrounds.com. Just type in Munch Crunch or Urban Santa. Urban Santa we also put out on iPad uh, this past December. And, uh, you know, it didn't sell that well. But, uh, you know what, it's a learning experience. And uh, I learned how to use Adobe Air and how to port a Flash game to a mobile device, the iPad. So it was a lot of fun. And uh, it, was, it was a great process, honestly. So... I've been programming in Action Script 3 for about five years. Let's get this QuickTime thing off the screen here. You don't want to see that. So, about five years of, of Action Script 3. I've been using Flash for 10 years, maybe. Um, and I've taught myself, and I'm really doing this. You can fast forward, by the way. If this is boring to you, just fast forward. If you want to get to the code, that's what you do. So, but to summarize, I wanted to. I wanted a tutorial series when I was first learning, that was geared toward, more informal, it was just geared towards someone who doesn't have that computer science background, doesn't, the theory, you know, overwhelms people like me, and maybe you as well, and I just wanted a real world Joe Schmo approach to learning programming and Action Script 3 specifically. So, here it is, and I think that's what hopefully will make me a good teacher at it, is because of my back my background and lack of a programming background so uh, I'll try to make it real world I'll try to make it my maybe my format and my style might be not by the book as much as you might learn in a computer science class but the code works and I feel it's organized enough for other people to read it and I've made two games so far and a bunch of other smaller things so here we go we're going to start, you're not a programmer, unless you can make a Hello World application. And that's what we're going to do. First things first. Hello World. So in order to do that, I've got a real simple project file here. I'm using Flash CS 5.5. You don't have to use 5.5, but uh, it's going to match my setup here if you do. So all I've got is one layer and a text box on here, a dynamic text box which means you can write into it whatever you want, either through code or by letting the user input their name or whatever piece of data they want. So I've got one dynamic text box. It's called Hello Text. And before we even get to using this, we're going to do an even simpler way to write Hello World for our Hello World app, which is the trace statement. The logical thing for be the first step in your journey of learning action script. Trace. That's all we're going to write. And let me step back for one second here and say the code's written on a frame. All action script that's written in the IDE, in the timeline, is written on frames. It's attached to a frame. The old way was to attach it to a movie clip um, or some sort of object. Now all script within the Flash IDE is attached to frames. If you're using, you know, external, you're using your own external scripts and your own classes, that's where it's different. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go, go into this frame and we've got trace, open parenthesis, quote mark. Anytime you're writing out text or a word, your word, a string is the proper term for it. You're gonna use quote marks. 
hello world, end quote, close parenthesis, and semicolon. Every statement in action script should end with a semicolon. Now we're going to command enter or control enter if you're on a PC. And you can see, get that out of the way, that we traced out, hold on, we traced out hello world using the trace command. So we go back, we can write whatever we want. Hello again, since we've already said hi. It's, you know, it'd get awkward if we just said hello world again. Hello again, we traced out. So that's a simple use of the trace command. You can use it for not only writing a simple piece of text you can use, later we're gonna get to variables, different data types. You can trace out pretty much anything, an array, which may not know what that is yet. You're gonna love arrays. All right. Another way to write our hello world to the screen is by using this text box here, which as I said is called hello underscore txt. We're gonna, I'm gonna copy that, and go back into our script. We're gonna get rid of this line of code. I'm going to paste hello, dot, hello underscore txt, and we're going to look at the text property. Now, later on, we're going, to, we're going to explain what objects are and how objects have their own properties. But for now, all you know is dot, t, dot text is a property of a text box. Makes sense, right? Equals, and then we write the same piece of text, hello hello world, semicolon. We uh, command enter, control, uh, control enter, and we can see right here, I'll blow that up. It's a little small, but hello world, hello small world. So that's a simple, that's two ways to write hello world to the screen. And it's a great place to start. It may sound boring, may sound overly simple, but this tutorial series is going to be geared towards total beginners, and if you know a little more than a total beginner, you're probably going to want to get into the series at a certain point down the road. Um, but this is the first tutorial, so we're starting small. Thank you everyone for watching, and uh, please subscribe and um, check out BigToeInteractive.com. We're going to have a bunch of games coming out in the near future. Thank you.